Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, get me an opportunity. She gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure. She has been confident. And that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the queen. So the top 10 in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proving ground here in a big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes and Holly Holm and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if, as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense tonight. And there she is, folks. Rose Namajunas, ready to make a statement here tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Luana Pinheiro. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Fog Rose Narayunas! Herb Dean, third party in the octagon Ready. tonight. All right, we are underway. Here is Doug Rose Namajunas with Trevor Whitman in her corner. She's not afraid to let the fight come to her. Certainly has some first-round finishes to her credit. Angela Hill, UFC 192, comes to mind. But this is a fighter who gets stronger as the fight goes on. We'll see how Namajunas approaches things here in the early going. All right, so Doug Rose Namajunas mixing it up pretty well here in the early going with her kicks and, of course, that patented jab as well. Yeah, she pops that jab. She's so fast. And you can hear her corner telling her, Rose, stay on the jab, stay on the jab. She's so good at maintaining distance, and she's very tall for her weight class. Rose Namajunas has now figured out how to use her length to her advantage inside the octagon. Oh, judo toss made it look easy. So one minute into the fight, and look at these two warriors just going at it. She better be careful, though. You got to think gas tank might become an issue at some point. The gas tank will become an issue if you fight so reckless. You cannot be this reckless in a fight inside the outfit. Nice defense by her there to block that punch. 
massive body kick land. Another nice kick, solid kicks across the board from her tonight. I mean, she throws the kick without any windup. There's no tell to when she's coming. Very fast hand. That punch got to the target. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stomped, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight and can potentially win. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that she hurt her before. She's gonna have to close the door if she gets her hurt again. Oh, nice job by her there to land yet another takedown. I gotta think at Gilroy High School wrestling practice oh. next week, they're gonna be watching this film. I mean, we will show it. I will pull out the projector, put it up on the wall, and say this is how you secure takedowns in a big environment. The state tournament has nothing on what this young lady's going through. Got it very tight. This has got to be it. Oh, bucks the hips and gets up. She does a great job of pushing up at the hips, getting her momentum off of her free in her head, locking her hands around the back to control the posture. Great job. All things considered, pretty good defense off of her back here. She's avoiding a lot of these strikes. And now she has her back. Monero getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Nice strike. Oh, how good is that left hand? Beautiful jab there by the champ. Nice job to connect there with the left. Oh, that a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got a good chase first down. She get another one off to finish the fight. Total strikes have now landed for Rose Namigunas. While she continues to land to the body, it's... Well, DC, some might suggest she's sort of playing with her food here. She has the upper hand, yet not really forcing the issue and trying to get her out of there. You know, she's very patient as a fighter. But when you see someone hurt that many times in one round, you gotta go for blood. I know it's against her foot. Oh my goodness, back and forth we go. Massive shots being landed on both sides. So she survives to hear the final horn. What a round it was. And, of course, that knockdown midway through nearly got her out of there. Almost got her the finish, but now she needs to reset. Get ready to go back forward and try and secure a finish without forcing anything. It's very key that she does not get greedy. Go back and sit down at the table. Let it be said. Be patient. Have the first course. Have the second course. And on the third course, the main course, Find your finish. All right, so there it is, the end of the round. Somehow she survives and advances after getting knocked down with a big punch there in that round. She's tough. She's durable. But she cannot continue to take strikes like this. She yeah, needs to fight. move her head on the center yeah. line. She cannot yeah. be a stationary target if she has any desire to win this fight. Nice kick landed there by Luana Pinheiro. And now the elbow. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. Oh, nice ankle pick. Great timing, better execution. 
Panero's pass attempt denied. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. All right, so a pretty interesting development here in terms of this fighter's evolution. Just as we saw in the last round, primarily a jiu-jitsu athlete having a lot of success with her striking team. But well, you can see it from the moment she came out the corner. She was confident. She told us she would not chase takedown. She felt like she was even better in the striking. And to this point, she has proven it. Oh, no. She's wobbling bad, J.A. Yeah. Pinero's caught, folks. Nasty cut on her lip just opened up. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. And potentially a critical takedown here. She's setting up the arm bar. Ooh, she's got the arm locked in tight. She's got it set up. She's in position now. Oh, oh, oh. Somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Well, Nama Yunus's pass is denied. All right, nice transition in the full guard. If you're the top fighter, where do you go from here? Try to posture up this big ground and pound off, which will lead to you passing the half guard. Now she's in full mount. Well, you know she can do it all in the octagon tonight. She is largely a striker, and man, has she had it going really from the opening bell. From the start of the fight, you can see that she was different tonight. You can... She's got her back now. Oh, nice. Nama Yunus is back in full guard. Right, and there you go, again, half guard. Panero's back in full mount. She is so dominant from the top position. Nice job by her there. The bottom fighter continuing to slip these ground and pound offerings. She's really accurate landing these strikes from top position. Ooh, she could get the submission here. Panero's in half guard. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom fight. Great recognition in the grappling transitions. Way to maintain that guard. All right, rubber guard for her now. So not a lot of fighters will go to this type of guard, and I would think that could pose some problems here for her opponent. It would pose some problems because most people are not used to it. So what she needs to do is just remember, I'm not in grave danger just yet, but I cannot allow my opponent to get going and get working in a position. Now this could be the beginning of the end for her opponent. It seems like we are in the final act of a four-part play because this fight is about done. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Oh, beautiful by Rose. Battling for hooks. Well, she hasn't gotten the finish yet, but it's not for a lack of effort. Several huge uppercuts have landed, and the prevailing wisdom is she goes right back to it here, I would think. She has to go back to that. Why would she not go back to it? You don't fix something that's working. It ain't broken. Don't try to fix it. She is a master of landing uppercut. Nice. Fighter blocks the punch. Pinero's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Oh, oh she's hurt. Yep. Outstanding oh, round. Oh, oh. And another five minutes coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round. She has a cut on her lip. That much is obvious. We'll see if the cut man can get in there, shut that thing down, and prevent it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stools we go. She has absorbed a lot of damaging strikes in this fight. We'll see if she can recover. She didn't do a good job of moving her head. She was a stationary target, and she paid for it. Her opponent recognized that the target was stationary, and she went 
all out trying to land big shots, and she opened up a nasty cut. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, here we go with our next round. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, nice level change. Back to the feet. Boom. Big jab. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you, are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle that on the outside, limit the damage, get between rounds, and then try to reset. Because right now, this cut is only getting worse. Well, Nama Yunus is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Oh, she's got her back. Work out this position. All right, into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing. Right away passing. Trying to pass to get the ground and come up. She does a good job of recognizing that the shots are coming, and she's got to get out of the way. Panero gets back up again. Nicely done. All right, so we're on the feet at least for now, but you got to think, at least from her standpoint, another takedown attempt is imminent. She's definitely going to be shooting another takedown attempt. It's where she wants to fight, and I really do applaud her for knowing where her strengths are and making sure she is fighting right there. Well, her reactions are real. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, that guillotine choke is tough. As she gets out. She is so aware on the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. Ooh, look how tight that arm triangle is. Oh, yeah, she's got it deep. It looks like she's got that arm triangle locked in. She's doing a great job of controlling her. Now she's got to get her chest to the mat and her shoulder. She's out again. Nice trick. Well, submission offense is somewhat of a lost art in modern-day MMA, but she knows what she's doing, and yet the defensive fighter continues to throw. Especially off your back. She's so good off of her back that she's giving herself a chance to get the submission. But her opponent is so gifted defensively. She's so responsible. She's doing a great job of just staying safe every time her opponent tries to submit. All right, so the ladies make their way back to the feet. Nice job by her there, and the crowd is just lapping it up. Yeah, they're loving her willingness to fight to get back to her feet. She never accepted being on the bottom, so even though it was difficult, she got it done, and now she looks to impose herself on her opponent. Defense held up there as she blocks the punch. Just missed with the left there. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike. Find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Oh, beautiful transition right into side control. Oh, nice headlock. She's got the Dosh choke locked in. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Namayutes. Well, you gotta think at this stage of things, there is a wide margin on the judges' scorecard. She has landed a ton of significant strikes in what is her best performance today. This is the best we've ever seen her look. She did a great job of fighting at her pace. Oh, that one got through. I'm not sure how many more she can take. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck to finish the fight with a chill. All right, she's in the full guard here, DC. She's going to be looking in the pass, try to get to the next position. Panero's back in the full guard. She could get the sub here. Well, Nama Yunus is in half guard now. 
Well, you heard the crowd pop after that grueling ground battle. The athletes make their way back to the feet. The athletes are up, and they need to take in the admiration. The crowd is appreciating uh, the high-level uh, grappling exchanges that they just experienced. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five rounds. There, DC, and now her opponent may be seeing stars at this point. Her opponent's seeing stars. Her opponent's hurt. She has to really get after her now and try to find that kill shot that's going to finish tonight. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nama Yunus's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. Takedown defense holds up. Seemed like she wanted out of the clinch there. Back and forth we go. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycle. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work. Because the more she... Outstanding job by her there to change levels and get this fight to the ground. What do you guys call that, an ankle pick? I mean, that's an ankle pick. But there's a lot that goes into it for her to execute it in a fight. Amazing. Well, I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she is not that, right? She's invested in the body, and she's done some pretty significant damage to her opponent. Absolutely. You know, you start to go there, and you land something, and you may think, wow, that was hard. Your opponent doesn't really respond. But as you start to pile them up on them, you start to see exactly what we're seeing right now. And now she can start to capitalize on that. So now, as the cut continues to get worse, it appears as though it's starting to affect her a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to affect her. You can see it. She, she's reaching for it. She's pawing at it. She's trying to understand where the blood is coming from. She has got to stay locked in if she wants to win this fight. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Rose Namajunas. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. She's stepping over the ball here. Well, Nama Yunus is in half court. All right, she's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half guard, but she does some pretty good work here. She does good work in the side control. She likes it. A lot of people will not even pass the side control right. anymore because it seems like you're giving your opponent an out. But she loves the fact that she has such a great guillotine, and if they turn one way, she'll attack it. So you only have one option to escape this young lady, and by going to your knees, she always throws her hooks in. Right. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back. And she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back as I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Big right hook there by the champ. That was nice. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by she the She got fighter. stopped. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. Paneros in half guard. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. 
Oh, high-level grappling by her there as she reverses position on the ground. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. In the half guard. Outstanding grappling battle, and now back to the feet. Huge response from the crowd. We'll see who has the advantage here. Big straight punch, and now her opponent's firmly on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. I've never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? Oh, nice bomb shot. Panero's... All right, so with some urgency, the cut man making his way inside the octagon here at the end of the round. Quickly, they get her back to the stool. They got to work on that cut, and quickly. Well, well, no surprise to see her opponent continue to attack that cut on the bridge of her nose. Nasty cut on the bridge of her nose. She wasn't moving her head, and she is now paying for it. Her opponent now will be even more aggressive in her approach to try and advance the damage to her nose that she's already dealing with. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Oh, she is in a world of trouble. We'll see if she can survive. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success from this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting an elbow. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, it's getting deep. Oh, arm triangle inching closer now. Great decision there. Maintain position over submission. Very, very smart. Gotta be careful here. Panero's back to the side control now. Oh, right into Mount. Panero ground and pound from half goal. Oh, that is some severe swelling. I hate to speculate, not a doctor, but you might be staring at a fractured orbital there. And now she has her back. Oh, beautiful job by her there to reverse the position on the ground. Panero's back in half guard. All right, full guard here if you're the bottom fighter. Trying to prevent the half guard, I would say. Yes, absolutely. Trying to keep her in full guard. Throw up some submissions to get back to your feet. And now she's in mount. Nice positional control here. Beautiful transition. Nama Yunus is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Nice shots landing from the top position. Man, these women are putting on a show tonight. The crowd absolutely loving it as they make their way back to the feet. The crowd's going crazy because they just saw two high-level grapplers mix it up on the ground. It was phenomenal to watch. Oh, blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. Oh, a big right hand! Well, Nami Yunus is blocking... Oh. She's hurt! She's hurt bad! So she holds on to her heel, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. But Arrow's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Great defense. She got that punch. Oh, that's gonna get some respect. She won't be as 
she won't go as forward anymore. When you got a big power shot, oh, she's got a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. She gets to the single collar tie. There it is. Just misses there with the left. Pinero's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time, and I'm not sure there's any end swell in the building that's going to open that eye back up. They might stop this fight. Oh, big knee to the head. Wow. Trying to stay in this fight. Beautiful shot land. That'll do it. Rose Namajunas finishes the job. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Fog All right, so what an effort tonight as we congratulate Thug Rose Namajunas. It's hard to just say Rose Namajunas without the Thug Rose. It's become her calling, and she was at her 